the shapes of molecules depend on how many electron groups there are around the central atom. We are only going to consider uh, how many atoms there are around a central atom, and then if the central atom has lone pairs or not. So that basically is the cause of the different shapes. So if there are two atoms around a central atom, this would be, for example, CO2, H2O, SO2, or even something like HCN, where there's only a total of three atoms, we could either have the shape linear or bent. And the shape linear is always if there are no lone pairs of electrons on the central atom. So if we do a dot structure for CO2, we're going to see that we have four lines, and this ends up looking like this, and there are no lone pairs on the carbon. So these two groups of electrons are going to try to maximize their angle between them, and that would give us a linear shape. If we draw water, we'll have a drawing that looks linear, but we'll have lone pairs on the central atom. And those lone pairs are not directly above and below. They assume that tetrahedral arrangement to maximize their angle between them. So water would actually be bent. The lone pairs are going to cause these electrons to uh, move away from each other. This is that 109 degree angle, which we don't need to know. HCN is another example of a linear molecule. We did this one, and because carbon does not have any lone pairs, this atom, well, this molecule would also be linear, 180 degrees between those angles. So the distinction between linear or bent is going to be whether or not the central atom has lone pairs. The same thing is true for three atoms around a central atom. Planar, again, is no lone pairs of electrons. And we did an example of that, SO3, where we would have one double bond, two single bonds. And in that case, sulfur has two, four, six, eight electrons around it. The planar molecule is the perfect triangle. A molecule that has a lone pair on it, for example, PCL3, I'm not putting the lone pairs on the outer atoms, just to make the distinction. This molecule would be pyramidal, and we can think of the lone pairs on top of the central atom as being the top of a pyramid. And that's only the case for the trigonal molecule, where there are three things around a central atom. If there are four things around the central atom, that shape is always tetrahedral because there can't be lone pairs. So this would be CH4, SO4 minus 2, the polyatomic ion sulfate. The groups around the central atom don't have to be the same. So that would also be tetrahedral.